Cosme is off to Kefalonia in Greece. And at 5.25, from dizzy spot squeezer to groovy rock chick, tell it to me straight, has Kate to sort out. Right now on 4 Daytime, good afternoon, Richard, and good afternoon, Carol. Hi, thanks very much indeed. Uh, welcome once again to Countdown, and I think a special welcome as it's now uh, the October, what, the 11th, Thursday. Yeah. I think uh, a very valuable commodity are now well and truly settled in there. Of course, our student viewers, they should be back now at college. <laughs> ah. Oh, they're up. <laughs> they're up. They're up. Huh? Well, I, indeed, we do appreciate you students, but I'm sorry, you've got to get up a quarter of an hour earlier now. Oh, no. <laughs> now we're on at quarter past four. Okay, well, we love them, don't we? We love we them. We certainly students. do. <laughs> OK, well, we love you all, in fact, and we love, particularly, uh, our great champion, because that is what he is at the moment. A great champion, I'll tell you why in a minute, Steve Sandals, and our equally great challenger, we hope, Diane Tootson. Steve and Diane. Well, this is uh, Steve. Uh, I don't know if you... I know what you do now. You were a food technology... Were you a student once? I was, yes. Yes, oh, you don't look terribly old. I don't know how old you are. How old are you? I'd rather not say. Oh, come on. 31. Oh, 31. I thought mm -hmm. you were about 23. Oh, thanks. Oh, right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, as far as Countdown is concerned, uh, he is five. I, insofar as he's got five wins. So under the new regime now with the, uh, with the 15 rounds, it's six rounds and you're out. So uh, he's, we think they may be called a hexa champ. We haven't got a word for it yet. If you can think of something better, especially you students, uh, just to... Uh, let us know on the old uh, email. But a very good uh, five-win performance here. The highest has been 109, and his lowest has been 70. So uh, this is your last game. If you win, of course, uh, you're out. And if you lose, well, you might well be back in the quarterfinals at Christmas. We don't know. But for the moment, a big hand for what he's done so far to Steve Sandals. And taking uh, him on is a daunting task, but I know she's up to it. She's uh, called Diane Dutzen. Dutzen, all the way from the Athens of the North, which, of course, is uh, Edinburgh. We love Edinburgh, home of the Countdown Club in Edinburgh, of course. Uh, she's married, and she worked as a systems project manager for a pharmaceutical company. But she's also a performing member in two local amateur musical theatre groups. Her favourite film is Highlander, and she's hoping to put the champion to the sword today. As it says in the film, there can only be one, may it be Diane Dutzen, the Lowlander. So, uh, we wish you good luck. Diane Dutzen. <laughs> well, yesterday, folks, uh, the G of the D came up with a seven-letter winner, lefties. Lefties, which well, means, like me, left-handed people. Well, now, the gunslinger, uh, Billy the Kid, was known as the left hand of God. But our wonderful guest, Keith Barron, We'll have to settle for being on the left hand of Tanya Styles. Here they are. Hello. Hello. Uh, lovely to see you, Richard. Looking forward to another three quarters of an hour of total pleasure with you. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot. All right. Thought but, you'd like that. <laughs> Sorry, that's uh, that's after Keith. That's. Uh, oh, is it? <laughs> oh, now he tells me. <laughs> that was just a joke to amuse the students. As most of my jokes will be. I should be making student-type jokes for oh the next... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, Steve, good luck on your last performance for the time being. Off you go. Let's start with a consonant, please, Carol. OK. S. And a second. C. And a third. M. A vowel. Mm. O. And another vowel. E. A consonant. P. A consonant. R. A vowel. I. And a final vowel, please. And a vowel. Thank you, Steve. And A. And we're starting the clock.
Okay, Steve. Eight. Eight. Diane. Six. Six. Which is? Crimes. Yes, crimes there for six. Here's an eight. Compares. Compares. Mm, very good, yeah, all there. Well, that's not a bad one with which to start, is it? Eight letters straight away off the mark with an eight. Well done. Uh, we've got an eight here, uh, well, Tanya has, which is um, compromise. Comprise. Comprise. <laughs> I just can't read. <laughs> Comprise. Yeah. That's, that's good. OK, fine. Well, off the mark, you, Steve. Now then, Dan, it's your turn. A consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Diane. N. And another consonant? L. And a vowel? E. Another vowel? I. Vowel, please. U. Consonant? T. And a consonant? D. Another vowel? E. And a final consonant, please. And thank you. And S. Des at the end. Very good. Yes, Diane. Just a six again. Okay, well, we'll see what Steve's got. Eight. Oh, <laughs> eight. <laughs> uh, what's your six, Diane? Untied. Untied, yeah. What's your eight, mate? Unlisted. Unlisted. Very good, yeah. Seven Very addition. good. No, I feel another round of applause coming in. You're going to exhaust the audience in a minute. Um. We've got a seven and an eight. My seven is utensil. Yes. Um, another eight. Uh, listened is also there. OK, a 16. 16 nil at the moment. Uh, Steve, four letters, please. Constant, please. N. And a second. H. And a third. R. Vowel. A. Vowel. O. Vowel. I. Consonant. G. Consonant. Z. And a final consonant, please. And T. Thank you. Stop the clock. Okay, Steve. Six. Six. Uh, Diane? In that case, I'll go for a dodgy seven. <laughs> <laughs> Do you you haven't got a six? <laughs> Let's hear Steve six. Ration. Ration, yes, ration. Now, the dodgy seven, fingers crossed. Or rating. Or rating. A rating. Excellent. Yeah, it's all there. Very good. A very yeah, good. Giving an oration is all right. Yes. Well, give her a clap, because that's a good <laughs> word, actually. Yeah. Well said indeed, well said. A rating. Good. And we, we've just got a six, which is throng. Yes. Not thong. No. Throng. <laughs> no. I don't, know, I don't know what Carol thinks, but I don't, I don't rate these thongs, you know, really. <laughs> I forgot one. No, but I just think that thongs ain't what they used to be. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Student joke number one. <laughs> right, carry on now, Diane, with your letters. A consonant, please, Carol. C. And consonant. <coughs> D. Vowel, please. E. A vowel. A. Another vowel. I. Consonant. S. Consonant. V. A consonant, please. 
R. And the final vowel. And E. Oh, I see. Des pops up in that as well. Okay, Diane. Seven. Seven, and Steve? Eight. <laughs> He's got another eight. <laughs> uh, what's your seven, Diane? Devices. Oh, devices, absolutely super. Devices, yes, great. Now, what's the eight? Serviced. Serviced? Excellent, yep. Snap over here. Very good. What well, can I say? Exactly the same. Yep. This is very good. This is sixth game is meant to be tired he's firing on all cylinders here that's that's terrific so 24 and 7 well any advance on that I don't suppose so no none at all no, no absolutely not okay well don't rest on your laurel Steve because you've got a nice uh, tough numbers game ahead of you uh -huh. hi Carol can I have uh, six more ones again please <laughs> <laughs> thanks Stevie thank you boy we have four and you have six seven and five Another five and four. What is the target going to be? Ooh, long, long way to go for everybody. 469. Okay, uh, 469. 469. Four six nine, everybody. Steve. Four six eight. One away. Now then, Diane. Four seven three. <coughs> okay. Well, we'll look at four six eight. One away. Okay. Four times five is twenty. Four multiplied by five is twenty. Four times six is twenty-four. Yep. Multiplied together is four eighty. It is indeed. Minus seven minus five. Minus seven minus five, and that is four hundred sixty-eight. Yes, one below. Okay. Well, one away. Four six nine. Uh, I got 470, but I, if you can do 7 times 67, then you'll have the right answer, but I haven't. So, we then have to say that the score is 31 and 7. And uh, Keith, are you there? Yes, hello. You're on. Uh, two little uh, Cornish tales here sent to me by a dear friend, Mrs. Irene Sheen of St. Ives. Unfortunately, a farmer died sort of towered in that way, uh, and the undertaker came to see the widow to make the arrangements, so he did all that, and then he said, would you like me to put a notice in the, because figures talk like this, undertakers, would you like me to put a notice in the local paper, and she said, oh, no, 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 it's too expensive. He said, well, fortunately, the local paper is doing a deal at this present time, the two words for a pound, so she said, oh, well, yes, that's interesting, I'll have two pounds worth. Right, and he said, what would you like me to put? And she said, just put Jimmy, full stop, farmer, full stop, died, full stop, tractor for sale. <laughs> <laughs> and the other Cornish tale is a couple were going down one of those Cornish very narrow lanes when a chicken ran out in front of the car. But this chicken had six legs. So he pulled the car to a halt, reversed to try and see the chicken again. And there, leaning on a gate, as farmers do, was the farmer. And the driver said, uh, look, did you see that chicken? He said, yes. He said, well, it's got six legs. Yes, I bred them. Well, why do, you, why do you breed a chicken with six legs? He said, well, I've got six in my family, so that's a leg each. So the man said, oh, that's very interesting. Tell me, what does it taste like? He says, I don't know. We haven't been able to catch the bugger yet. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Keith. Thank you. Thank you, Irene.
Okay, well, we'll uh, pause now, pause for thought, and the thought we're going to give you is this one, a little uh, anagram all muddled up, may or may not do have something to do with anyone in the studio, probably, probably not, actually, but we'll see. This is the muddled up version, and uh, we'll tell you the real one when we come back, so here it is. The little choices we make each day have an impact on our climate. Freak storms, more floods, wetter weather. It's called climate change. But you can help do something about it. Choose to walk more on short journeys and you could help fight climate chaos. You'll feel the benefit, your kids will feel the benefit, we'll all feel the benefit. You can get so much out of two weeks in Australia with Oz Travel. But here's the best bit. You can fly there from just £589 return. Call Oz Travel now on 0870 166 2007. Thing, Dave. It would still be playing Sunday League football if it wasn't for your bad knee. Well, give Booper a call. You can be seen in next to no time. <laughs> but I'm not a member. You don't have to be. <laughs> Booper hospitals offer fixed price treatment to everyone. Call 0800 00 1010. Well, there it was, Diane FC. It did refer to you, Diane, and uh, turned into Fancied. Okay? So, well, I don't know, fancier, fancier, the fancy, no, stop it. <laughs> stop this. I was going to say, fancy a nice letters game. Yes, please. If you go there. <laughs> I'll have a consonant, please, Carol. N. And a consonant. F. And a vowel. A. Vowel, please. O. Consonant. T. Consonant. L. A vowel. E. A consonant, please. J. And a consonant. And R. Thank you. Here we go. So now, Diane. Uh, seven. Uh, seven, good. Steve. Seven. Right, Diane, seven. Floater. A floater. <laughs> One who floats. <laughs> One who floats, <laughs> isn't right, it? Yeah. Well, I know, right? Yeah. Uh, Steve. Also floater. <laughs> <laughs> We're also floater. Yeah. All over We're here. all floating. Um, you could have had frontal as well, but that's only another seven. <laughs> Right, anyway, you've got 14, and you have got uh, 38, uh, Steve, and you've got the choice of letters. Consonant, please. D. And second. S. And a third. L. Vowel. I. Vowel. U. Vowel. E. Consonant. Y. 
consonant. T. And a final consonant, please. Thank you. And G. I don't believe it is there again, that man does. He gets everywhere. Three rounds we've had him now. Yes, Steve. Six. Six, uh, Diane. Seven. Is that right? Ha ha. Now, Steve. Lusted. Yes, lusted. Right, Diane. Ugliest. Yeah, very good. Yeah, all there for ugliest. Yeah, we'd got Excellent. ugliest. But we'd also got another seven, which is dilute. Um, and gutsily is also there. Um, you know, gusty manner. Gutsily. Gutsily. Yeah, all gustily. Yeah, it's all gustily. <laughs> gustily, it's like guts, gutsily. Like gutsy, if you gutsy. Yeah. Oh, you're gutsily, right. Uh, anyway, lots of ones there, uh, ranging from uh, lusted to gutsily. So, 38 and 21 we've got. Now, Diane, ready for it? Another lesson again? Consonant, please. Thank you. K. And another consonant. R. And vowel, please. I. And vowel. A. Another vowel. E. Consonant. N. Consonant. D. Another consonant. S. And I'll have another consonant, please, Carol. Thank you. Oh. Oh, useless <laughs> cues. <laughs> okay. Hi, Des. <laughs> Yes, now, Diane. Seven. No, seven. Right, Steve. Seven. Right, Steve, seven. Darkens. Darkens, Diane. Sandier. And Sandier. Darkens. <laughs> Sandier. Uh, we've got two sevens. One is uh, Redskin, which is Tanya's. And mine is yet another floater, Sardine. <laughs> Sardines? Yes. You and asked what a floater was. <laughs> But, I mean, that would be a dead sardine. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, they always float on the top, don't they? Yeah, but even then, there'd be two of them. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> okay. Now, 38 and 21 was the score. It's now gone up to 45 and 28, according to my writing here. And we now have uh, Steve for some letters. Consonant, please. Thank you. T. And a second. <clears throat> F. And a third. L. Vowel. O. Vowel. <laughs> <laughs> A. <laughs> Those floaters keep bobbing up everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a consonant, please. X. Uh, a vowel. E. <laughs> a, con a consonant. T. And a consonant, please. And a consonant. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll start the clock. Good, now, 
<laughs> Look, Steve's got a cheeky grin. Look at that cheeky grin. <laughs> what have you got? How many have you got, Steve? Seven. Seven. <laughs> Diane? I can only see one seven. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Well, uh, what's yours, Diane? Floater. Yes. <laughs> well, you got, us in, you got us into this mess. Uh, floater. <laughs> Steve? Flatter. Flatter. <laughs> now, you see. What a man. Top man here, you see. Doesn't go for the obvious. Flatter. Very uh, good. Yeah, we, we couldn't do any better, could no, we? No, we yeah. had both um, floater, <laughs> so we would, and also flatter. Sad, really. Well done. So the scores then, after all that, 52 and 35. Now we go to some numbers, and Diane, it's your numbers. I'll have uh, one from the top and any other five, please, okay, Carol. thank you, Diane. Uh, the last one. I'll take that one, I think. OK, we have eight and two, one and two, nine and 100 and a target this time is 388 okay 388 team 388 Good. Uh, 388 then, Diane. 388. Excellent. Steve? 390. OK, well, the chance for you here, Diane. 388. 8 divided by 2 gives you the 4. Yeah. Then take oh, the 2 doing, plus yeah. the 1 away from the 100. So that 2 there. Then 100 minus 2 minus 1, yep. It's 97. Yeah. That's and four. multiply that by the 4 that you got by dividing the, by the 2. <laughs> that is correct, 388. And that is 10 points. Well, that's very good indeed, and it's really put you well back in the game, because 52 and now 45 to you, and there's five rounds to go after the pause. We will now take the pause for thought, and what we think about is this one now. Uh, we will show you this and reveal all after the break. So, here it is. Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Glasgow. It's now so easy to enjoy the Spanish climate and the healthy Mediterranean lifestyle. Thousands of people buy easily and safely in Spain each year with Parador properties. Calling this number now gives you access to thousands of freehold villas and apartments. With prices from just £50,000, we'll make you feel more at home in Spain. Call 0800 083 1212 now for your free no-obligation brochure. That's 0800 083 1212. I'm Mark Moss. And my company, Hidden Hearing, has 5,000 hearing aids to give away free. Call free on 0800 114488 and apply for one now. For over 25 years, Hidden Hearing has helped people improve their hearing. But there's over 4 million of you out there, still hard of hearing and doing nothing about it. So I want to give you a hearing aid free, so that you can hear how it can help you enjoy better hearing. Call free on 0800 114488 now. You need the volume on your television turned up. You strain to hear what your family and friends say to you. If I can't see to read, I wear my glasses. If you can't hear well, you should try a hidden hearing aid. It could change your life. So call free now on 0800 114488 and apply for one of my free sample hearing aids. And remember, Better Hearing from Hidden Hearing of Duke Street, Mayfair, London. For thousands of freehold villas and apartments for sale in Spain, call 0800 083 1212 for your free brochure. John Lewis, Aberdeen, Edinburgh, Glasgow. Good, OK, welcome back. Octo Cab becomes a uh, tobacco, of course, Octo as in Octo Champ. Well, we don't have Octo Champs anymore. We have what we temporarily call Hexa Champs. And are we on the verge of having one? Well, we'll find out in uh, the next five rounds. Steve, 
the man himself is on 52 and you're on 45 down so it actually is as close as uh, it's ever been for Steve I think so we've got the five rounds now Steve starting with the letters consonant please N and a second G and a third S a vowel A and a second I consonant Y vowel U consonant D. And a final consonant, please. And a consonant, thank you. And M. OK, thanks. Here we go. Yes, Steve. Seven. Seven. Now, Diane. Just a uh, dodgy six. Dodgy six. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to hear it. I am hoping damning. Can you can get away with one aim? Well, I wouldn't have thought so, but well, well, let's have a check. She look at it, and we'll go to Steve. Amusing. Amusing. Amusing is Indeed. fine. Yeah. I like that word. Amusing. Well, if if you want to talk about damming a river, you need. To Two M's, I'm afraid. There's no D A M I N G. So. No. Nope. Okay. No matter Bad because luck. we do have a musing there as the winner. Thank you. Uh, which nice cue for you, Keith. You well, want music? We uh, we had exactly the same um, amusing. So nothing from this end. No. Okay. Uh, well, the scores move on. 59 and 45 now. Letters choices. Diane. Consonant, please. B. And another one. T and a vowel E another vowel A a consonant R a consonant P a vowel please O a consonant S and a final vowel please and E Good, here we go. Well, Diane. Eight. Ah, oh, good girl, good girl. Eight. Steve. Seven. Right, what have you got? Bo uh, boaters. Boaters, <laughs> which rhymes with... Floaters. Voters, <laughs> indeed. Yes, it's voters, indeed. But we've got boaters here. Um, now, Diane. Probates. Very good. Probates. Yeah. Yeah. Will we allow it? We will, um, obviously. Yeah, and um, probate the noun um, we have in as a mass noun, but um, you can probate something. Um, and if you uh, take probates from the verb there, um, that gives you your eight. Let's hear it. Probates, very good. <laughs> Keith? We just had a six, which is repose, unless Tanya's got anything else. I think operates is there as well. Oh. Yeah. OK, well, this is always very interesting, because, look, it's 59 and 53 with three rounds to go, one of each. Steve, last letters game, please. Consonant, please. Thank you, Steve. V. And a vowel. I. Consonant. C. Consonant. Consonant. L. A consonant. T. Vowel. E. Vowel. A. Consonant. D. And a final consonant, please. And R. OK, I'm clock starting.
Very good. Now then, Steve. Seven. A seven. Diane. Seven. Steve, seven. Trailed. Trailed. Yep. Diane. Dialect. Yep. And dialect. Yep. Yeah. Both yep. that. Uh, we also had dialect, but we also, well, Tanya did, she had... Vertical. Ver vertical. Anita for vertical. There it is. Rather horizontal, that vertical, but <laughs> there we go. Uh, well, uh, look, scores now, 66 and 60. Yep. Uh, numbers now, Diane, please. One from the top and any other five, please, Carol. Okay, I think I can give you an inverted T here, Diane. And pray for good weather. Right, we have six and nine, one and one. Yeah. Another six and 25. Maybe not a good selection, Carol. And the target is 625. 625. Here we go. Yes, well, 625 then, Diane. 625. Well, good for you, Steve. No, nope, nothing. Really? Yeah. Right, okay, well, here you are, Diane, 625. 6 minus 1. 6 minus 1, yep. Yep, yep. times 6 minus 1. 25. Times 25. Is 65, yes. Well done. Well, look at this. Uh, I tell you, this is going to be a really good game. And it's 66 and 70. So, the first time for Yonks, we've got a crucial conundrum. That's why you came here, isn't it, Diane? He said, I really want to go all that way from Edinburgh to Leeds so I can play a long running champion on the crucial conundrum. That's really what you'll, you envisage when you came. Anyway, here we go now. Eyes on the screen. Please now reveal today's crucial countdown conundrum. Two seconds to say. Outrageous. Not outrageous. Oh, no. <laughs> Rest of time to you, Steve. No. Okay. No one's got it. Have you got it, Diane? No. no. <laughs> I thought you said you had to. Okay. Well, I'm going to go to the audience. I'm looking right around the audience now. Yes, looking around the audience. Oh, yes. Just one man. Yes. What do you think it is? It's surrogate. He says surrogate. And I tell him he's absolutely right. Well done, chap on the front row. Excellent. So, surrogate. Very good. Well, only one person here out of our audience of 130-ish got it. It's a measure of how difficult it is. So, look, at, we have 66 for Steve, but 70 for our new champion. Well done, Diane Dootson. <laughs> Well, I must say, Diane, looking at the score sheet here, when it was 16-0, 16-7, 24-7, 31-7 at the end of the, the first uh, third of the programme after those first five rounds, you must have thought it's all up with you, but there it is. Okay, so that's, that's terrific. So we'll be seeing you uh, tomorrow. And Steve, well, you've been a right, well, I have been, and still are, in my opinion, a, a really a good uh, champion. Um, you're not quite, well, we wouldn't call you a hexachamp, but had you won, what would you have called yourself? I'd rather not say. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it began with S. <laughs> it did, yes. Well, the students will know what you mean by that. Anyway, uh, it's five good wins. These are early days yet, so we've already got one hexa champion, McMenzie. Uh, we don't know how, uh, how your score will get in uh, when it gets to the quarterfinals, but we think probably it will be OK. We very much hope so, because it'll be great to see you in the, in the quarterfinals at Christmas week. So we've got the goodie bag for you, a huge goodie bag, especially the teapot and all that kind of stuff. And as you're in the food business, you like having a cup of tea out of the teapot, won't you? I do, yes. As you test your meat pies and sausage rolls. <laughs> He's a good guy, made us all laugh. Good luck to Steve Sandals. <laughs> OK, well, 
We've got Diane in the champion's chair tomorrow and in the hot seat today uh, is uh, Simon Cartwright. Hi, Simon. Hi there. Well, you were the one person in the audience that got that conundrum, it seems to me. Yeah, I only got it right at the end. Well, it, that's, it doesn't matter. You certainly got it. No one else got it. So, uh, well, that's pretty impressive. So, uh, well, good luck to you. Thanks. So that's Simon Cartwright from uh, Lincoln. So, we say farewell to those who dwell in Dictionary Dell. Bye-bye to you. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Board at the board. Goodbye. And from me, the mayor in the chair, it's goodbye. Quarter past four tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye-bye. <laughs>